Hello everyone, Bridget Ayer here with All About the Grace and I wanted to do a short video on the coronavirus. I have been listening as we all have been to all the news reports <clears throat> and I know at least at the time that I'm taping this which is Friday morning, it's uh, March the 13th, <clears throat> some of the, I know Pittsburgh and the Archdiocese of Indianapolis are uh, the bishops have are giving people a dispensation if they do not attend mass this weekend. I think masses are still going on some places. Um, I think some places uh, mass has been canceled, but the bishops have given Catholics a dispensation if they do not attend mass, which uh, mass is a holy day. Mass is a day of obligation. So. Anyway, <clears throat> what I wanted to offer you, I've been listening, as I mentioned, to a lot of different reports about what people can do other than washing their hands and that kind of thing. And so I've compiled a list of one, two, three, four things that you can do to help others during this time. And <clears throat> the first is pray together as a family. In my family, um, I have a daughter at Purdue. Uh, classes at Purdue have been canceled. Uh, the high schools and um, uh, schools in Carmel, Noblesville have been canceled. And so we're all going to be home doing like E-days. So take this opportunity to pray together as a family, especially for those people who have uh, weaker immune systems or those who are elderly who are more at risk of getting coronavirus. So that's something we can all do, but we're going to make a, a more intentional effort to pray as a family and specifically, we do that already, but pray specifically maybe like a decade of the rosary, a whole rosary, a couple, um, just add some extra prayers with those people in mind. So pray together as a family, number one. Number two, look around your neighborhood, just your neighborhood, maybe your next door neighbor, neighbor across the street. Do you have any elderly neighbors or neighbors who you know um, maybe have diabetes or have some other underlying illness which would put them at risk? Ask, knock on their door, leave a note, um, send them an email, get their phone number, whatever, and ask them if they need any help. Do they need um, you to bring them food? Do they need anything? So help out your neighbors. And maybe, you know, maybe there's somebody in your neighborhood at some point who has the virus that, that can't actually go out. They might be completely able-bodied, but they themselves have self-quarantined and they aren't going to be going out. So look around to people just right in your neighborhood that you can help out. So that's number two. Number three, our mayor actually offered this suggestion, which I thought was really good, to give blood. Now, Giving blood doesn't really have anything to do with the coronavirus per se, but you know people will still be driving and getting in car accidents. There are still um, there is still a medical need for blood, and I have heard, or at least the mayor said that that blood donations right now are down. So that that's something that if you are um, you know if you're healthy and you can give blood, that would be another thing to do. So that's number three: give blood. And then number four, I also thought this was a great idea that I heard, is to donate to food pantries because there are people that, again, will have to self-quarantine, and but maybe they don't have an income where they can go out and buy enough food to buy up enough food for two weeks. You know, maybe they haven't gotten paid yet, so we're talking lower income people. So the food pantries, and there's... Uh, just Google the food pantries in your area and donate to those food pantries because people are going to need um, food because as you all know, I mean, there are going to be things that people need and lower income people are going to need. So give to food pantries and um, 
those are these are four tips pray together as a family help out your neighbors especially elderly or people who might be you know compromised give blood and donate to food pantries four tips that you can maybe think about in, in helping out people around us to kind of get through this so thanks so much for watching please click subscribe if you have not already thank you for um, uh, all of my subscribers and I will be talking to you soon God bless